Acute mountain sickness is one of the conditions that can occur when you go to altitude. It's the most common condition and it can happen in up to 90% of people. It depends where you're going and how quickly you're going and uh, it depends a bit on your past medical history as well. The symptoms of acute mountain sickness are headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, malaise, insomnia, and sometimes dizziness. If uh, acute mountain sickness is severe enough or if it's untreated, it can progress to a more severe form called high altitude cerebral edema, which means that your brain is swelling. And so once your brain swells, uh, you can get neurological symptoms such as confusion, poor balance, and it can progress to coma and, and death. There's some tools that have been developed to assess the severity of acute mountain sickness, and the most common one is called the Lake Louise score. With this particular study, uh, we were looking at a, a large cohort, 500 pilgrims going from low altitude up to high altitude over a very short period of time. We're trying to determine if there are any factors that would help us predict which ones of these pilgrims would get sick versus others. Uh, there's five different parameters that we look at. The headache severity, the amount of nausea and vomiting, the amount of fatigue, uh, dizziness, and then we look at sleep quality. What we found in the study was that of the five factors, sleep was uh, almost completely unrelated to the other four factors. We wonder if it needs to be revised and perhaps have the, some of the weightings changed for uh, each of the variables.